Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Review. In just a bit, I am off to check out the new dramedy, Ezra. So what's the plot of this movie? Well, it tells the story of a comedian named Max who's co-parenting his son, Ezra, who has autism, with his ex-wife, Jenna. The two parents are doing the best they possibly can, and they also have to make some very tough decisions about Ezra's future. Then Ezra and his father, Max, decide to take a life-changing road trip to kind of learn how to deal with these changes coming down the road. This film looks like it's going to be a very heartfelt, kind of maybe emotional film to watch. It looks really good, to be perfectly honest, from the trailer. So you know what? It's enough of me sitting here jibber-jabbing on. It is time for me to get out the door because I need to go see Ezra. Welcome back, just getting home, and guys, I enjoyed this film. In fact, I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. So let's get this started, shall we? Let's get things started with the negatives, then move into the positives to end the video on the ever so important high note. Negatives wise, this didn't really bother me, but I could see where this could bother some people. There are some bad decisions that are made by Max in this movie, and it kind of seems like the consequences for those bad decisions don't really match the level of bad decisions that are made. It just seems like things kind of wrap up with a nice big bow on top, and it doesn't seem entirely realistic. Other than that though, I didn't have any issues. So let's get into the positive, shall we? The number one thing that this movie does great is deliver some outstanding performances from its cast. Bobby Cannavale, who plays Max, does an outstanding job of the father in this film. He plays a stand-up comedian who has just a lot of crap going on in his life. He doesn't necessarily agree with decisions that are being made by his ex-wife for the treatment of his son, and so he decides to take matters into his own hands and do things his way. His wife also has her own feelings. So there's a lot of things that go on in there, and it causes a lot of tension between the two of them. And the actors do an outstanding job. And just the journey that his character goes on throughout this film is very solid, and it's very heartfelt. You have a real sense for this guy. You feel for him. You want him to succeed, even if he's making some really dumb choices. You just really hope that this guy is going to get through this in the end. And his son, Ezra, who is played by um, William A. Fitzgerald, is outstanding in this film. He really has a great understanding of the source material. For such a young actor, he does a very good job. I know some of the times when you go see a movie and there's a, a kid as a main character, you're normally like, well, that's passable. Good job. Not in this case. He did a very good job. I could see a very bright future for this young man. And the chemistry that he and Bobby had together on, on screen was outstanding. You really felt like the two of them were father and son. And it's really good to see how these two characters develop and grow along their road trip and how they kind of learn from each other as things go on. There's also an extremely good performance from Robert De Niro in this 
film. He plays one of the smaller characters. Oh, he plays Bobby's father, as a matter of fact. I keep saying Bobby. He plays Max's father, as a matter of fact, and does an outstanding job. Robert De Niro is one of those actors. Yes, I know he's getting older, but it doesn't seem like he's diminishing in any way, shape, or form. I keep seeing him in movies, even at his accelerated age, and he is doing an outstanding job. Sometimes when actors start to get a little bit older and they start playing roles like old man or grandpa or something they start to really kind of phone in those performances and you can kind of tell that they're getting to the end of their career not with robert de niro man i have been following his career long well as long as i've been alive and the man always delivers excellent performances there's also other sub characters that do outstanding jobs rain wilson is in this movie he does a really good job Whoopi goldberg has a small part also outstanding performance even though she's not on screen very well she has a very likable, lovable character that puts up with Max's antics and you don't really know why, but you get a sense that there's some kind of future or some kind of past between the two of them and that's pretty good. So all in all guys I think this was an extremely solid character driven and it's also a character driven story with an extremely strong emotional core. It also has some very funny laugh out loud moments but this is not primarily a comedy. Yes there's some levity but it's mostly a drama at its core I really enjoyed the way the film was present or presented. I thought the pacing was excellent. The story was very solid. The depiction of autism in this film was very real. This wasn't one of those just candy-coated kind of ways to portray something like this. It gets very real and in your face, and I appreciate that with this film. So all in all, guys, I think that this was an extremely solid, very good film, and it definitely deserves your watch. It comes out May 31st, to the best of my knowledge. I was lucky enough to be able to get into a pre-screening that popped up in my AMC app, so I said, why the hell not? And I ended up being very happy with it in the end. So that's all I have for you guys. Again, get out there, see this film. This is another one of those small little independent films that, again, as I like to say, is the lifeblood of cinema, and we must support them. Yeah, it's fun to go see stuff like Furiosa and Star Wars and all those cool tentpole movies, but these small, intimate stories that really deserve our attention, they're the things we're losing in cinema and we really need to keep those around well that's all i have for you guys thanks again for checking out the film geek if you liked what you saw here today go ahead and subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications and give me the old thumbs up so i know you like what you're seeing and if there's one more thing you can do folks that is keep watching movies you know i'm gonna